been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I feel like it's only right that I give you guys another episode of the Capsule Chronicles. This time chronicling the time that I almost had an affair with my 7th grade teacher. <laughs> I didn't have an affair with my 7th grade teacher, but that does not mean that I did not try. Let's get into it. But first, a sponsored message! Ladies and gentlemen, the holiday season is here, and that of course means three things. Smiles, cheers, but most importantly, shopping. Because as you know, there is nothing more festive than seeing zero dollars in your bank account. Trust me, I know from experience. Allow me to introduce to you today's sponsor, Sheen. Sheen is a bustling online marketplace and the perfect spot to do all your shopping this holiday season. They sell a wide variety of electronics, toys, clothing, pretty much anything you can think of. And at a fraction of the price regular stores would charge for. This ring light, which would normally cost you 75 bucks on Sheen, is only $22. And these leather boots, which would normally cost you about 80 bucks on Sheen, is only $32. I guess they really stepped up on affordability, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Steps. <laughs> Never mind. Not to mention how good the quality is for such a low price. The air can get really dry in my office around this time of year, so I went ahead and got this humidifier, and it's been a lifesaver. It's got two different modes of spray depending on your preference, and even has this really cool glow in the dark effect, which is a nice touch. Only five bucks, too. Can you believe that? As you know, it's winter, so I also went ahead and got these really cool, comfy leather boots for when my feet have to endure the cold snow. I've had them for about a week now. They look good, are extremely durable, and are built to last. For those who have the unfortunate circumstance of living in the North Pole like me, I definitely recommend this is something you get. And because this season is the gift of giving, me and my good friends at Sheen have decided to give you guys the greatest Christmas gift of all by giving you guys 90% off over 300,000 items shop-wide this month. That means it's worth trying and worth buying. Let me put that into perspective for you. That's like getting a vacuum cleaner for the price of a latte. That's like buying an iPhone for the same price as a light bulb. That's like buying a washing machine for the same price as me. So what are y'all waiting for? Click the link in the description and check out Sheen today. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much to the folks at Sheen for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. We made a brand new Discord server, join it or else. Link will be in the description box down below. So this story takes place when I was about 12 years old. It was the first day of school and I was pissed off because after a nice, beautiful, glorious summer, I had to come back to this shit hole known as school. And what made me even more pissed off was the fact that that year, I had quite possibly the worst teacher teaching me in the school. We're gonna call her the witch. Now, the reason why I knew that this was the worst teacher was because my older brother had her in a previous year and he would tell me nothing but horror stories. He literally still has the battle scars to this day and he's like pushing 30. That's how you know it's bad. But I ended up getting lucky because two days after the school year started, the witch ended up going on maternity leave, you know, to take care of her little witch babies in her little witch nest, which meant that the school needed to find a replacement and a replacement they found. Enter Miss V. Now, the reason why I called her Miss V was because she had a very long name that I couldn't pronounce, but that did not change the fact that she was an absolute bombshell. She was about like 22, 23 years old, blonde hair, blue eyes. She had a very nice player build, like a very good player build, but quite possibly the best part about her was the fact that she had two massive buns back there. Sometimes I would just be sitting in class saying to myself like, yo, what the hell are you doing with all this ass? Like what you doing out here? double cheeked up on a thursday afternoon on a school day like what the f what's going on like what you doing with all this shit now don't get it twisted i'm a desserts man i love cake just as much as the next man she just had too much too soon like you know what i'm saying yeah! so a wise man once told me with great ass comes great responsibility and so i felt like it was my duty to slay that as they say obviously a student teacher relationship is not ideal that's pretty much how you end up going to jail i didn't think of it in the perspective of like she was going to be a playground sniper if we got together or did anything together i just looked at it as we're just two people with a shared connection back then you guys should have seen me i was like a little prince charming i turned up the sauce to the max level you know i did everything i would bring the apple and put it on her desk every single morning i would stack the chairs with her at the end of the school day every single day 
great. I would tell her all the time that she was my favorite teacher ever. Realistically, like she wasn't even in my top five, but she did not need to know that. I put on the heat. I was doing everything that I could to finesse this bag. As far as I'm concerned, I'm looking at this as like my first real relationship, you know? So a month goes by and like in my mind, we're practically head over heels for each other. We're pretty much like in our honeymoon phase. That is until a random woman randomly walks in our classroom one day. I lock eyes with her. She locks eyes with me. And my face just does one of these. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. I asked Miss V, who the f is that? Miss V tells me, oh, that's the new teacher. Her name is Miss N. In my mind, I'm like, that's that's not Miss N. That's my wife. What the f are you talking about? Now, Miss V and Miss N were good friends, but in a way, they were like polar opposites. Miss V was like the blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, the good girl. Best way I could describe her is like a Elsa from Frozen. Miss N, on the other hand, is like the brunette, dark black hair, very tight clothes. She reminds me of like a sexy Disney super villain. And at the time, like that was my type. You know, like I liked the sexy Disney super villains. I don't know why. Like it got so bad that during the lunch breaks, me and my boys literally have like organized debates. Like who was the badder bitch, Miss V or Miss N? Eventually though, I came to the realization that I'm the type of man that can only really be with one girl. I can't have a plethora of women walking around, okay? That's just not my style. So I needed to make a decision on what woman I wanted. It, would, it was either gonna be Miss V or Miss N. The decision was made on a very hot, sunny day where Miss N decided to take off her jacket, exposing her tank top and mini skirt. I looked at her and I drooled for five seconds. And then I said to myself, yeah, there's no way I'm not impregnating this woman. Like it's just, it's just not gonna happen. All right, dude. What the flip? I called it Operation Secure the Bad Bitch. It would go in phases, like in different steps, because you know, a good plan is always organized into multiple steps. The first step was making sure that she knew that I was single and available. I did this by pretty much pretending like I had no friends. I mean, I did have friends. But for like a solid week, I just ignored them. This way, she would feel bad, so she would just hang out with me whenever. Like this part of the plan kind of worked. Eventually, she just started treating me like I was retarded or some shit. Across the line for me, it was when she asked me if I wanted to play with Legos while she went to the teacher's lounge and got me a Jello. Keep in mind, I'm like 12, 13 years old. Like I'm not like six. You know, I'm practically a grown ass man in certain countries in the world. Overall, though. It built rapport between us, and that set us up for stage two, which was asserting my dominance. Now, I want you guys to understand this, okay? I was not the only person that was trying to get with Miss N. Literally everybody in that school with a penis was trying to do the exact same thing that I was trying to do. That's why it was very important for everybody to know that I had the big dick, okay? And that they couldn't come between me and my girl. At the time, I was really big into animal planet, right? And one thing that's very prevalent with every single species on the planet is when the mating season starts, the males have to compete against one another in order to show who's the dominant force. You know, the female's only gonna choose the alpha male. And, and so if I wanted to bag her, I had to be the alpha male. The only problem was at the time, I was like a short piece of shit. I literally looked like a fucking pumpkin patch. It was clear that I wasn't gonna just get into a random fight with somebody and win, okay? So therefore I had to fake it. No one said that you can't fake your way to the top. So me and my friend devised this plan where we were gonna orchestrate like a fake fight and I was going to uh, beat the shit out of him. I'd pay him like five bucks, he'd pretend to get his ass beat, we'd go about our day. That was the plan. So the fight starts and I'm pretend beating the fuck out of this nigga. Like, I'm, I swear to God, I'm really selling this, right? Like, I'm throwing him against lockers and shit. A small crowd starts to form. They start cheering, yelling. Everything is going according to plan. Next thing I know, out of nowhere, this big ass, brolic ass nigga, we're gonna call him Debo, comes out of nowhere and just starts walking in our direction. Like, I'm hearing like boss music playing while this motherfucker walking in our direction. I'm like, what the fuck is that boss music that's playing? I see my friend who I'm doing this fake fight with looking behind me. He stares for like three seconds and then he runs away. And the only thing that I saw after that was like this, just this gaping shadow, like above me. Whoa, whoa. 
problem with this nigga Debo is he's an absolute delinquent. Whenever he hears a fight, smells a fight, senses a fight, he just has to be part of the fight. I have no idea who hardwared him like that, but that's just how he thinks. If there's a fight, I need to be a part of it. That's how his brain operates. So I'm looking up at him like this, and he's like, Are y'all fighting? I'm like, no. No, not at all. We're not. Nobody's fighting. I just thought there was a fight going on over here. I'm like, nah, nah, ain't, ain't no fight. Ain't no fight going on. I'm doing my best to like explain to him the situation that's going on exactly with like what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish here. But you could imagine how difficult that is when a delinquent is steering you down, hell bent on just like destruction. Needless to say, none of the explaining really helped. He ended up beating my ass like pretty bad it was like he was playing a game of whack-a-mole every single time i got back up he would just he would just smack me back down to the ground like it was it was it wasn't good it got so bad that the cheering started turning into ooze. And like you know it's just a bunch of people just like sympathizing with your pain so eventually one of the teachers sees this massacre happening and he runs over and breaks it up and tells us both to go down to the office so like i limp my way down to the office i'm sitting there in the office room i'm beaten i'm bruised i'm battered i see this nigga on the other side of the room he don't even got a scratch on his face i didn't even run his stamina out my dignity is like all the way gone right my self-esteem is low i'm sitting there saying to myself damn maybe this wasn't a good idea usually i have everything thought out to the t i thoroughly think things through before i do them for the first time in my life i just, i didn't do that at all i sat there and just got my ass whooped that is until my two beloved teachers miss n and miss v come running down the stairs uh rushing into the office they see me sitting there all fucked up and shit miss n is like oh my god what happened are you okay and obviously like I'm not gonna tell her that I got my ass whooped, you know? Why the fuck would I do? That's like the worst thing that you could fucking do. I told her this outrageous lie. I was like, yeah, there was just like these older dudes. They were just like running into the school. And so I had to defend everybody from these guys, you know? Like they were threatening to like whoop everyone's ass. So I had to just step in and defend everybody. You know what I mean? In the process though, like they, they got a couple jabs in there, you know? But it's, it's something like, you know, there was like five of these dudes. She starts like laughing and, and shit like that. Miss V on the other hand was, was not impressed at all. She started yelling, screaming at me asking me what the hell was wrong with me if she had the opportunity to yell a racial slur at me i think she would have that's how angry she was i think it was just because you know she saw that like me and miss n were getting close to each other and so she started getting jealous you know she continues to scream at me for like a solid like seven minutes but eventually she gets tired and she leaves now it's just me and miss n in the back of the office by ourselves <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment since the start of the school year. And this was my chance to really show her the man that I am. During that summer, I went to like this Riz boot camp. I took like these Riz lessons. One of the classes in the Riz boot camp was about teaching young boys like myself on how to properly secure an older woman. Pretty much all I had to do was take that training and apply it to the situation at hand. I was really smooth with it. So like pretend this chair is her and she's like sitting in this chair. But pretty much all I did was, you know, did like a nice little stretch just like this and then slowly just but surely just like that I just did I just I just did one of those I've been out of touch right for like several years so obviously that didn't look as smooth as what it should have looked like right but you get the point at first she didn't notice and then she looked over at her shoulder and just smacked my hand away I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. When she did that, my heart sunk a little bit. That shit hurt. And in that moment, my face just made one of those, one of those despair type of face. I'm sitting there saying to myself like, yo, what's going on? I thought you wanted this. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what, what am I not doing? Like I set this entire shit up for this to happen. What do you mean? I've done all the heist setups. Now it's time to do the heist and cash in. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm a teacher. You're a student. So then I reach over and I just comfort her. I'm like, listen, baby girl, 
Nobody's got to know. You act like people got to know. People got to find out about this shit. It's okay. No one has to know, baby girl. She wasn't really uh taking my advances very well. She started yelling at me. She started cussing at me, telling me, like, this, what the fuck is wrong with me and everything. I'm like, the only thing that's wrong with me is that I'm madly in love with you. So I would say things like that, and it would just dig me deeper into a hole to where, like, she wanted to, like, literally smack the fuck out of me. But she knew she couldn't do that. Otherwise, you know, like, it, that's a whole lawsuit. Eventually, she gets pissed off, and she takes me to see the principal, like, the actual principal of the school. She explains the situation of what I tried to do in a way that, like, made me seem like I was some type of monster. And it wasn't even that bad. Like, I was literally just shooting my shot like she made me seem like i was a fucking like i was a demonic entity for shooting my shot at her as if like she was too good for me or anything like that first of all she wasn't too good for me second of all she knew what it was when she first locked eyes with me when i saw her and she saw me she signed the contract then and there just with eye contact Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this to the principal. He's not understanding. Somehow, both of these grown-ass adults are making me seem like I'm the crazy one. Can you believe that shit? It's almost like he's trying to give me a lecture, like the principal is trying to give me a lecture on why it's wrong. Truthfully and respectfully, I'm not trying to hear all of that shit. I came here with a mission and a purpose. I start getting mad because he's not understanding my perspective. I sat there and I pretended like I had no friends. I got into a whole fake fucking fight where some crazy fucking delinquent showed up and started beating my ass just because. Now I'm sitting in the fucking principal's office being told that everything that I did was for nothing. He's telling me like, oh, well, you know, you should have known that that's not how we conduct ourselves. And the faculty at the school does not conduct themselves like that with regards to the students. I'm like, listen, man, if you were in my position, you would do the same shit. Why are you sitting here pretending like you wouldn't try to tap that shit? So all three of us just start going back and forth. Finally, I say to myself, I'm like, listen, man, you know what? This has all left a sour taste in my mouth. I was like, listen. It was fun while it lasted. We are officially breaking up as of now. She gets like all mad and shit. We was never together. What are you talking about? She starts getting all mad and hysterical again. I'm like, bro, you better calm her down, dude. The principal tells her to go and cool off in the teacher's lounge. So now it's just me and the principal sitting in the room together. He makes sure the coast is clear. And then he tells me, to be honest with you, son, I tap that shit too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I even know. Uh-huh. You know the vibes of Wupti. So although I didn't end up securing anything that day, I did go home knowing that I had the principal as one of the core members of my homie group now. Mr. Richardson, you have my undying respect, my man. If you ever want to go bowling, bro, or whatever the fuck old people do, just let me know, bro. I'm always here. And to my beloved Miss N, if you're watching this video, first of all, sorry for everything that happened in the past. It's been close to 15 years now. I'm not a minor. Uh... If, if that makes you feel better. And uh, I'm rich and like famous now. Who the f is that guy? So that was a story of me and my seventh grade teacher. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you for making it to the end of this video. If you have not liked the video yet, man, I know you see that like button. You just, you've made it this far and you just have not clicked it for whatever reason. Like the video. Let's see if we can get a solid 3,000 likes on this video. If we can get 3,000 likes, I will make sure to do another Captain's Chronicles because I know some of you guys really like these videos. Uh, if you guys have not subbed to the channel yet, man, sub to the channel. Kick that notification bell, ladies and gentlemen. Here at The True Crew, we are big fans of free crack, soft pillows, and big ass titties. So if you're a fan of those things too, Join the club. Appreciate all the love and support that we've gotten this past year, you know, because the year is ending now. And I just want to say, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown this channel. With that being said, I got some merch dropping. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Be on the lookout. Follow the Instagram and the Twitter so you'll know when we drop. And with all that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Oh, Uber Eats is here. My Uber Eats is here. Okay, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Shout out to the True Commandos, man. They are Kevin Hype, Jewel ZB, 1300, and Catherine. When I find you guys, I'm going to kiss y'all, okay? So do not run away. Yes,
with Congress, entanglement with Congress, entanglement, entanglement, entanglement with Congress, entanglement with Congress, entanglement with Congress, an entanglement, an entanglement, an entanglement with Congress. Into an entanglement with August, an entanglement with August, with August, with August, an entanglement with August, an entanglement with August, an entanglement with August, with August, August, August.